Hi guys and welcome to another shave with me, Chris. And really excited about this shave. I've been I've had this soap, it's a new soap, three new products today, new razor, new blade, and new soap. And I've been dying to try this. I've had it for a couple of weeks and I've heard a lot of good reviews about it. Um, the razor I've never heard before. Um, and I can't find any reviews on it really. Maybe I just haven't looked hard enough, I don't know. And the blade I'm using, I've heard good and bad things, so I thought I'd review it myself and see how it suits me. So, right, first of all, soap. And this is it. Milano. Sapone of the Barber. Fantastic looking glass jar, the label. This is the box it comes in. Great packaging. Absolutely super packaging. Wait till you see this. Wait till you see this. So. You see it? They're supposed to represent uh, petals of a rose. Now the scent on this is flowery but masculine, if that makes any sense. And it's got essential oils in. I'll just get the list for you. It's based on essential oils. And it, that's what comes in. The lighting's not pretty good in there. Uh, 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 where we go? I can't even pronounce half of these. Bianco Fior, cast, well, castor oil, uh, Jehovah oil, sweet almond oil, argan oil, vinacioli, vinacioli oil. Yeah, essential oils. That's what it's based on. So, really good for the skin. And I didn't. I haven't put it in my bowl yet because I didn't want to ruin that before I put it in the bowl. So I'm going to put it in the bowl now. Just going to put a little piece, piece size in the bowl. It's a little bit more. Like I say, I always use too much. But best having too much than not enough, in my opinion. So I'll put it in the captain's choice bowl. And we'll give that a give that a go. Beautiful, beautiful jar. It's uh, about 150 grams, I think, 150, 200 grams. 100, 150, thought it was. Right, the razor. Look at that. Isn't that a thing of beauty? See all the different colours? This is a West Coast shaving 84mm razor. And it's the titanium coated collection. Beautiful. It's like reminds me of the pearlescent paint that you get on cars. And I absolutely love that effect. So yeah, we're gonna give that a go. I've never used it before. Like I say, I can't really find that much about it. It's a three-piece razor, non-adjustable, heavy handle. I don't know if it's brass or it looks stainless steel. But it's a heavy handle, and I like heavy handles. The blade of choice today is a bit chrome platinum. Never used it before. I've heard good things and bad things about it. So, like I say, I thought I'd give it a go myself. That's the wrapper it comes in. So we'll just load, load the blade. God, it's warm in it. I've not wandered out of the shower, so I'm warm anyway, but God, it's warm. It's, it's so, and the sun's not even out. It's so clammy. I, I hate clammy. Just load the blade in. Make sure it's nice and tight. There is overhang on it slightly, so I'll have to watch that. Just check the blade alignment. Looks spot on to me. It's quite a, a gap there, so I, I don't know about the aggressiveness aggressiveness on this, so we'll give it a go. The brush I'm using today is a Yaki red marble handle 24mm. Nice tuxedo knot, nice and soft. So I'm going to put that in the water. No need to soak it. 
But I like to soak my brushes, whether they're boar or synthetic or horsehair or anything like that. I just always like to soak them. So now I'm going to take the pins off and we'll get shaving. Wet face. So how are you guys? Okay? How did your week go last week? I had a tough week last week with this weather. So hot and humid. Really struggling. Well, I hope you've had some good shaves as well in the week. Right, three shapes of the brush so it's wet but not dripping. Let's see how we go. You can see straight away. That's nice. Looks like I'm going to have to add a, a touch more water. So I'll dip the tips. Oh, yeah, it smells gorgeous. So I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit nervous about using this blade. And I did think about having a backup razor, just in case. But I thought, go with it. Just take your time and go easy. It's still all a learning process to make, so... Let's just make the best of it. But I've been really looking forward to trying these products. I've got a few more products on the way. Hopefully there should be, well, a couple of them should be here on Monday. Hopefully. So I'm looking forward to using them. I won't be using them in the midweek shave. I'll probably wait till next weekend. So, because I've got a few more products there to try. I'm going to dip this the last time. Look, look at this. Unbelievable. I have been so lucky with the last few weeks for shaves. Really good products. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Right. Just going to level it up now. Scent's amazing. Could be another favourite here. I had another head shave in the week. I was gonna record it and put it up. Shut up your nose, Chris. But um, it was only my second shave and it would have just took too long. I mean, these shaves are long enough as it is. But I did have a issue. Completely my fault. One thing you should never do is move the razor sideways. What did I do? Yeah, move the razor sideways. So there you go. So I'm a bit glad I didn't record it and put it up. I will do. I will do a video of it at some point. Just to see if it might help somebody who's just starting to shave the head or anything like that. No expert, certainly no expert at shaving or anything like that. I just know what works for me. And I love it. Absolutely love shaving. I've been really looking forward to this. So let's get some heat in the razor. Oh, look at that. Isn't that an amazing razor? Colours. Right then, here we go. West Coast Shaving 84 ml Titanium Collection. Bic Chrome Platinum. First use with the grain. Blade's a bit hot. Oh. That did surprise me. Because I would say initial thoughts on the razor. I would say it's a, a mid aggression, not high mid, in the low mid. Um, very comfortable. Handle is really comfortable. Real heavyweight handle. Blade, 
up to mount comfortable and so certainly doing its job there's a lot of whiskers there yeah so how have you coped in this heat then like I say I've struggled this way on delivery so humid it was one day last week could have been Friday, yeah I think it might have been Friday again I drank two and a half litres of water just on delivery alone keep myself hydrated it was struggling my uniform was sticking to me it was all hot and sweaty and everybody was saying where's your shorts why haven't you got your shorts on I just told them I didn't want to frighten the kids with my legs. But, um, I don't know, I just haven't bothered with the shorts this year, to be honest with you. I don't know why, there's no particular reason. I just haven't. So I used to wear shorts all the year through, even in the winter, and everybody used to think I was mad. But they don't realise that when you're walking, you're building body heat all the time. I didn't really get that cold. Plus being in, in and out of the van all the time with the heaters on. So yeah, it must have looked like I was mad wearing shorts in the, in the snow. See what this blade's like with the second pass. That's all the uh, the heavy growth's gone. Don't know if you can hear that. I can't get over this razor. The, the, the colours on it's amazing. You call it the rainbow shave. Not many different colours on the razor. Wow. Yeah, there's still a lot here, but not much left on the cheeks. There's not much left. I'm enjoying this. Dropping the towel. Gonna lap it up. I'm not going back to the bowl. There's still plenty in the brush for now. Yeah, flory, floor, flory, is that a word? Flory, woodsy, bit of woodsy in there. So smooth and comfortable, the cream. Soap, sorry. Wow. Making a mess of the shirt today. Never mind. I'll go on the wash. Right, second pass across the grove. Blade's comfortable, even on the second pass. No issues up to now. Till I get to the last pass on my top lip. Where I always overshave, looking for that BBS. I hope the picture's okay. I've, I've messed about with a couple of the settings on it. 
And unfortunately, I was investing in a, a new camera this weekend, but the funds that I have released have not gone into the bank yet. So it looks like it's going to be next weekend. It'll be Friday. Hopefully I'll get the camera on Saturday and uh, have a play around. So the quality will be better. I know it will. I've uh, watched a, a lot of view, reviews on the particular camera I'm getting. Looks amazing. And I can't wait. I mean, this camera does its job. I mean, I mainly bought it for outside use, outdoor use, because the wife and I go on um, lots of hikes. And uh, we, we do wild camping and such. That's the main reason why I bought it. Now the camera is superb outside. It's got a good zoom on it. So yeah. It's just like the last shave. Feels amazing. Slickness. Wow, yeah. Good slickness. <laughs> like I say, I've got some more, some more stuff coming. Just gonna get a little bit, a bit more on the brush. So I'm really looking forward, forward to that. Looking forward to using them. I hope next week isn't as, uh, as hot. I mean, don't get me wrong, I can handle heat, no problem. It's the humidity that saps the energy out of you. I'm sweating buckets now, I'm gonna have to wipe, wipe your forehead. Really feels, uh, really feels nice going on the skin. So what's your shapes of the day? Let me know in the comments. Be interesting. Right, third pass against the Grove. This is where I wasn't sure about the blade. Yeah, it's good slickness. Still a good job. Good feedback, good audio feedback. Yeah, I'm happy with the racer. Loving the colours.
I was going to do cut a menthol shave, cold water shave, which I should have done really, but I couldn't wait to try this soap. A cold, menthol, lated shave would have been ideal. If the weather stays like this, I'll do one in the week. Even though I've got some new products, like I said, I want to try. I think a cold shave might be in order. I'll just wait and see. You know what the British weather's like. Well, especially in Britain. In the UK, it can change at any time. I'm just going to put, oh, it felt like, I must admit, it was struggling a little bit then, but there's nothing there, so I just want to make sure, get the corners, oh there's some in the corner, Up and getting right up to the nostrils. The head, it's a bit like um, it's a bit like an Edward Jagged head, the E89. I don't know what it's based on that, but it looks very similar. Here we go, overshade time. Overshade time. Watch for the blood. Not much there guys, not a lot to pick up, but it wouldn't be a shave for all the pickups. Yep, I would recommend this soap, I've had no issues, no irritation, up to now I've had no irritation off the blade, which is good. Not a lot there. No, I've had some really good shaves. I've had no issues. Apart from the last shave, which is what normal for me, I'd only get reapers on the top lip. Because I overshave. Looking for that BBS all the time. I mean, you don't have to go for the BBS all the time, but I do. Because that is the shave for me. Yeah, don't forget to put your, your shaves of the day in the description. I'd like to see what other people are, are using. Wow.
yes to the razor. Good choice. I got this in a sale online. Let's go show you. It's twenty percent off, I think. Which, yeah, I had to pay for the shipping and everything, but it still worked out cheaper. So I didn't mind paying for the shipping. Isn't it weird how you have to hold your head at silly angles when your growth is so awkward? I got it all. Oh, fantastic. Really happy with that. Cold water rinse. welcome <laughs> nice fresh towel I got it all hey, can you see the issue here just there I moved the, the blade sideways not concentrating I'll get better as time goes. Wow, that, that feels great. Oh, nothing there at all. Right, today, what we're gonna go with, bog standard witch hazel from Chemist. Um, I've made myself, it's lavender. I put essential lavender oil in it. And I just put, LAV on there, so let me know that's the lavender one. I've got a few more. I made a eucalyptus one, sandalwood, sandalwood, and what's the other one? Which is uh, tea tree. Yeah, nice, nice scent of lavender. A bit in the hand. More essential oils going on the face. I love lavender. We're in the middle of um, reed landscape in the foot garden. Because we've had a, a new drive and stone wall, sandstone wall built and it's raised. So all the turf, everything's coming off, but the wife wants a complete border of lavender. And as you're walking up the drive, you can smell it. So that'll be nice when it's done. So hot. That is so smooth, guys. That is really smooth. Right, I'm going to put the aftershave on first today. Somebody did mention to me, not in a comment, somebody mentioned to me, who's watched my videos, of, why don't you do the same to everybody else? So it's just preferences. So you don't have to do it that way, but just to. Keep you happy. Ralph Lauren Safari. Ordered, ordered Toilette, EDT. Beautiful scent on this. It's, um, it's got patchouli in it. It's cedar wood. It's, it, it's florally but masculine, except the same as the soap. And uh, anyway, we'll give it a... Oh yeah. I love the bottle. Have you seen the bottle? It's got like um like a crest on. Don't know if you can see it that well. Like I say, the camera's rubbish. But yeah, and it's it's got a nice pattern in glass. Oh, it's a lovely scent. Absolute lovely scent. And to finish off, I'm gonna use a good old faithful Nivea for men. And this is a protect and care replenishing post shave balm love nivea goes well with anything oh maybe a bit too much there let me 
can see. The select rubbish. Yeah, it feels like a bit too much, but it will get used. Oh yeah. Oh. Get it all over, why not? Get some on the arms. Waste not, want not. Oh. Yeah, it goes well with the aftershave. Right, and that's it guys. Another fantastic shave. I'm, like I said, I'm so lucky for the shaves like this. Oh, it's like everything's just gelling together. Because I went through a really bad patch of quite a few shaves. And um, I was just having issues and it just didn't feel right or anything. Right, anyway, enough of that. Right. Fantastic soap. Absolutely fantastic. I would recommend this. Um, I'm not paid by anybody. I'm not sponsored or anything. This is just my own personal opinion, but I would recommend this. It's beautiful. The scent, presentation of the soap, the packaging, the glass dish, everything's going for it. Let's see. It's light. It's terrible. Absolutely superb soap. And as you can see, use the captain's choice bowl. And as you can see, always use too much. I always use too much. Yaki 24mm red marble brush, tuxedo knot. Very nice brush. Star on the show for me. West Coast Shave in 84mm titanium coated collection. Lovely looking razor. Heavyweight, good balance, performed really well. Yeah, I'm. I'm Glad I bought it. Great razor. We used the Bic Chrome Platinum first time, like I say. You see it? Heard good things and bad things to me. Good blade. Worked all right for me. And uh, yeah, it's successful. Used the homemade Witch Hazel Lavender. We used the Ralph Lauren Safari. I think this. Um, I'm not sure if it came out in the late 80s or the early 90s, but I, I do remember it being in the 90s. Um, I got this recently, and yeah, it's beautiful scent. And we finished off with the Nivea for Men Protecting Care. So yeah, that's it. Another successful great shave. Really happy with the results and the way everything went. And thanks for joining me. Um, don't forget to like and hit the subscribe if you want to see more videos. I've got a lot more exciting shaves coming up with new products and everything. So I'm really looking forward to them. And um, yeah, I hope you can join me. Please do. And um, yeah, thank you. Thank you again for all your support and everything for the people that have subscribed. I really appreciate it. So yeah, until next time, the next shave, I'll see you then on TV Shaves. Bye for now.